Welcome everybody to the Midland Lacrosse game versus the Grand Blank Bobcats. It's a beautiful day out there, about 50 degrees, sun's still shining. Can't quite read their numbers from here because the wind. Otherwise, I'd call starting lineups for you guys. Goalies cross, goalies touch gloves. Everyone crosses, touching hands. Game will be underway shortly. Midland goalie Sam Gannon will be facing the sun for the first half. By the time the second half, the sun will be down. Facing off for Midland would be Carson. Carson Lorenz. Face off. Opening face off goes to see scramble. Ball still down. Connor Bach comes Connor up Bach. with the ball. Connor Bach crosses half line, comes in on a fast break. Dodges to the middle and a good check by the defenseman knocks the ball out of Connor's hands. Scrum for the ball, Carson Lorenz comes up with the ball. Ball's tipped on black and out of bounds, white ball. Alexan involves the ball. Ball to Ryan Sweeney at X. Ball is behind the net right now. Setting up for a dodge. Sweeney to the net, drives, and a big save by the goalie. Nice pressure applied by Ryan Sweeney on the deep pole. It's going to remain Midland ball. In Saturday's game against Davidson, Ryan Sweeney had four goals. And Goal! Connor Bach. Connor Bach. A feed from Ryan Sweeney from X. Right through the crease over all the defensemen to Connor Bach on crease to a goal. Let's look at that in instant replay. We do not have instant replay currently. They, it will be on the way. Next face off. Ben Luzar. Ben Luzar for the second face off. Graham Blank comes up with the second face off. Pressure by the wings. Graham Blank player falls in the defensive zone. Scrum for the ball. Comes up Graham Blank. Deep hole number 21, Drew Baggett tries to clear the ball up the side of the field, makes an arid pass. Turnover, Midland, Midland ball. Goal scored by number four, Connor Bach. Assist to number Ball's going to start in the defensive Queen. end. Time of the goal, 11 11. Score Midland one, Grand Blank zero. Matthew Bausch back to, to start the ball. Plays go to the goalie. Goalie circles back around X to draw time for his defenseman to get open. The clear attempt by Midland is great. We'll rush the pass in the middle. Comes up with the ball. Stays Midland ball. Speed and shot. Ooh, nice feed by Alex Zahn to the crease. Goalie made a good save. Grand Blank clear. Up the side, up the sidelines, picked off by Midland defense. Alexander with the ball down low at attack, feeds up top. Ooh, shot nice by Matthew Bausch. Nice bounce shot by Matthew Bausch. Ball's gonna stay Midland. Ryan Sweeney to start the ball at X. Ryan Sweeney makes a dodge, coming up around X. Feeds the ball back to Zahn. Zahn dodges up high, beats his guy up high for the shot. Ooh, side of the net. Alex Zahn, a natural lefty, four-year varsity player. Ball starts at X. I believe it's Michael Gray. 
Feed to the crease. Ryan Sweeney. Pulls it back up top. Cut through. Ryan Sweeney back up top. Nice spin to the middle. Shot. Missed the net one more time. Goalie chased it out. He was the closest one to the ball after the ball went out of bounds. Which in lacrosse gives the ball to the opposing team in this such in this situation. Ball starts starts in the defensive zone with Graham Blank. Moves the ball to number 21, Drew Baggett. Michael Gray putting on pressure. Forces the pass. Scrum for the ball on the, so the far sidelines. Grand Bank comes up with possession. Twenty-two. Teddy Foot comes up with the ball. Grand Blank has a failure to advance. If Grand Blank doesn't get the ball into the mid the, the offensive box in a certain amount of time, they get called for a failure of possession. In that situation, the ball would go back to Midland or the opposing team, and they would start from the half line. What's the call here? Push from behind, loose ball. Midland takes possession. Pass to Crease to Tanner. Comes up with the ball, turns, and shoots. Shoots high. Missed the net. Ryan Sweeney starts with the ball down low. Moves the ball up to five and five, which is right where you should be shooting from for an attackman. Moves the ball to Alex Zahn and scores. Beautiful assist from Tanner. Tanner Dement with the assist. Alex Zahn with the finish on the crease to put Midland up two to nothing. Is that one nothing? Two to nothing, that's what I thought. The scoreboard shows zero still. It's a bit confused, sorry folks. For the third space off. Two goals. Two to zero. I believe we have Carson Lorenz again facing off for Midland. A jump on Midland. Oh, a jump on Grand Blank, which means the Grand Blank face off man reacted before the whistle was blown, which is going to give the ball to the opposing team. Grambling comes up with the possession after a failed attempt to score. Arid pass gives the ball back to Midland at half field. Connor Bach takes the ball to the middle of the field, dodging on opponents. Feeds it to Zahn, to Crease. Ooh, missed attempt as well. Midland stays with the ball because they were the first team to get to the to the end line as the ball had crossed. The ball will start at X. It's good top side defense by the defenseman from Grand Blank. Rolls around, finds an open man, moves it to crease. Defenseman made a nice play. Picked up by Alex Zahn and turned. Chris Smith shot. Ooh, move up top to Chris Smith, missed wide. Going to retain Midland ball. Midland second goal. He's starting with the ball down there for Midland. Number 38. Real hard starting with the ball at attack. Pass to Carson Lorenz was a failed attempt. Grand Blank moves the ball over half field. And Midland comes back up with the ball. Connor Bach clears the, clears the field. Connor Bach attacked from behind by Grand Blank defense. Loose ball goes back to Grand Blank. Nice check. Nice check by Jake Niveson. Midland comes up with the ball after a poor pass from the Grand Blank offense. Another scrum for the ball. Comes up, Midland defense. Another drop ball after another another hard, hard ride by the Grand Blank offense. They want the ball back and not letting anything go. Can't see the number with the far side attack, but I believe it might be eight or nine. 
Marco Scarpelli with the offensive ride to get that ball back. Midland defense comes up with the ball after Grand Blank set up. Sam Gannon behind the net to start up the defense. Jake Jensen moves the ball up, upfield to Brett Brillhart over to Alex Zahn. Ooh. Nice play that, by the Grand Blank defense to break up that fast break. Now, folks, a fast break is when the offense comes in the zone with, an, with more numbers on the field than the defensive team, which gives them more opportunity and more promise to score. There's a horn on the field, which means if the ball goes out on the sidelines, the coaches have the option to yell horn, which means you can substitute any player on the field at any time without going through the, the actual um, substitution box. Alex Zahn starts the ball up in the side of the field, moves the ball up to, who was that shot that? Good save Evan by the goalie. Bachman. Pressure by Midland, riding, riding, bad pass. Ball, ball comes up by, oh, good hit by the Grand Blank defense. Comes up with the ball. Some sloppy play going on here by both teams trying to move the ball up the field. Pass to the crease by the Grand Blank offense. Misses, and the ball goes out of bounds. You're going to classify that as a shot or a pass? It's going to be a pass, folks. Ball went out on the sideline. It's going to be Midland ball. Ball starts, left of the Midland goalie. Who's, run, who's that running it up? Ooh, door slam. Let's see, who is that running the ball up the field? 31, Colin. Colin, Colin Walters, Walters runs the ball up the field. Feeds nice it to Sweeney. Moved it to, I believe, Smith to Sweeney. Sweeney finished on the crease after a nice pass from the midfielder. Who is it? Number 30. Let's see. We'll have to get right back to you. Let's go ahead and do we have instant replay on that by any chance? Nope. Oh, that's okay. Number 33 assisted that. Ben Luzar. Goal by Fed that right into the Ryan crease to Ryan Sweeney. Sweeney. Ryan Sweeney made a nice finishing Assist touch on the goalie. Ben Luzar. Three to nothing here with five minutes and seven seconds Midland left in the eight, first quarter. Midland seems to have their offense working, where Grand Blank seems to seemingly have a hard time clearing the ball right now. We haven't seen them in a settled offense whatsoever, so maybe that'll change once once the game gets going here. Earlier today, the JV teams played Grand Blanc and Midland, and Midland won that contest 13-0. All right, as both teams come out of the timeout, Midland's probably going to be wishing to continue the pressure that they're putting on. Both teams are riding very hard. Grand Blank again hasn't had a settled offense yet, so we really don't know what to what to say about them and, and their settled offense. Midland pressures the ball. A lot of times they look creased. They have a lot of midfielders with talent, a lot of attackmen with talent that we've seen so far. Eager to see what Grand Blank has to bring to the table here. For the next, the fourth faceoff. We're going to have That's Carson Lorenz again. Carson Lorenz at face off from Midland. Successful. It's a win by Carson Lorenz. Teddy Foote has been facing off as well as others for the Grand Blank Bobcats. Alex Zahn feed to crease again for Ryan Sweeney. Goalie came up with another save. Chris Smith's got the ball. Passes to Connor Bach. Connor Bach has it at midfield. Feeds crease again. Defense makes a nice play, getting a stick into the stick, of, getting their stick into the, the offensive stick of Ryan Sweeney to break up that play. We got a slash one-minute penalty. 
Number 77, Kurt Dutrezak. He's going to be serving a penalty for one minute. Number 77, Kurt Dutrezak, one minute for slashing. Midland's going to be man up here. They're going to start with Alex Zahn, Connor Bach, and Ryan Sweeney up top. Look for them to do most of the movement. Grand Blank breaks it up. Ground ball for Grand Blank. It's smothered by Midland of offense. It's going to be Midland ball. Apparently, Grand Blank stepped out on the sidelines. During this horn, any player that looks to be substituted right now can do it without going through the subs substitution box. Midland's going to start on the left side of the field. Connor Bach having the ball. Midland looks to start into a 3-3 man up play, which means they have always three guys up, up at the top that like to move the ball together. By doing that, they get one guy open all the time because the defense is obviously down one guy, but they also have a guy that likes to roam around and be the hot slide. And the hot slide is anybody's help who gets beat initially. Grand Blank comes up with the ball after a missed opportunity by Midland. Again, pressured by Midland offense. They come up with the ball. Alex Zahn with a hard ride gets the ball to Connor Bach, and he hits the crossbar. Chases the ball down. Ball through, flew 35 yards in the air. It's a hard shot. Connor does have the hardest shot in the Midland team. After a scrum, Alex Zahn comes up with the ball. Can't, can't hold on to it. Gets the ball to Connor. Connor tries to feed Kreese. Midland with the ball at X. Feed increase again, almost seemingly forcing it lately. Okay, Alex Zahn comes back into the zone. Here comes the penalties over. Men's even now. Men's six even on up. six, lacrosse will be played. Grand Blank back to full strength. Ball moves up top. Over to Connor Bach for a shot. Saved by the Grand Blank goaltender. Great save. It was a down low shot. A lot of speed to it. The goalie went in and out of the crease, which is an illegal place, so Midland takes over the ball. Once the goalie leaves the crease with the ball, he's not allowed to re-enter. Can you see the number on that goalie? I believe it's Connor Moran is the only yeah. goalie they have yeah. listed. 53. Connor Moran has been playing very well for the Grand Blank Bobcats so far, holding the Midland offense to three goals. Chasing down the loose ball. Chris Smith moves the ball up top. To Matt Bausch. Bausch feeds and misses Alex Zahn. Ball's going to go back to Grand Blank for a clear opportunity. Midland's been riding hard today. Grand Blank's only cleared the ball twice. Let's see if they can get it up this time. Ball goes to a midfielder who's going to just casually take it across the field and try and set oh. up. Oh, but an arrowed, arrowed pass says no. Saved by the attackman. Nice play by the attackman to be aware. Ball moves to number 22 up top. Over to number 20 on the wing. Controls it. Passes the ball down to X. Number 20 with the ball again on the wing. Moves the ball up top to number 33. Nick Shore. Not much penetration yet by Grand Blank. They're trying to set something up. Grand Blank also in some sort of 3-3 offense right now. Now they move into motion. Move somewhat to a 2-2-2, where they have two guys up top, two guys on the crease near the midfield, and then two at X. A lot of pressure by the Midland defense. Number 20 carries the ball up the wing, looks crease, failed attempt. Good pressure by the Midland defense over to get that ball. Scrum comes up, and it's going to remain Grand Blank ball. Oh, nope. I'm sorry. We got a whistle, loose ball push, going back to Grand Blank. Hayden Gozen was the main instigator of that scrum on the far side of the field. A lot of energy there. Ball starts up with number 22, Teddy Foote, moving the ball to number 20, 
Graham Jacket. Ball moves around to Nick Gilmore. Over to Teddy Foote on the side. Ball moves to Crease to number 20. He looks for a shot. And Midland pressure comes up once again. Ooh, big hit laid on. Big hit laid on by Zach Walters on the side. Grand side Blank, of the look, field. Grand Blank had a person open on the far side of the field. Missed opportunity. Midland ball again here. Uh, Mr. Luzar has picked up the ball. He's bringing it down for the clear. Passes. Ben Lazar moves to Ryan Sweeney. Ball's loose at the crease. Goalie comes up with it. Grand Blank's going to turn around and try and clear the ball once again. This ball, Alex Zahn's picked it up. Feeds the crease. Oh! So we had a push from behind against Grand Blank. Midland ball. Alex Zahn's going to start with it over on the side. He's going to move it quick. Move it quick to, oh, Ryan Sweeney was a look, but he missed the pass. Grand Blank has a clearing at the opportunity and is put, oh, almost pushed out of bounds. Cleared by number 33, Nick Schroer. Nice pickup. Nice pickup by Jake Jensen, number 44. And that's the end of the first quarter, folks. It's 3 nothing. Huh? The face off breaks down the middle, feeds center. Ooh. Grand Blank goalie with a good save comes up with it. It looks to clear. Midland giving him time and room to just move the ball right up the field, not challenging him. Goalie makes a nice pass to the sidelines. Player with the ball. Grand Blank player with the ball moves it to the offense. Now we've got it at X. Grand Blank still with the ball at X. Tries to move it around the right side of the cage. Great defense by the Midland defense. Jensen comes up with the ball. Clears the ball over midfield to Alex Zahn. Ooh, looked to get a fast break opportunity, but failed attempt on the pass. 31 from Midland. Colin Walters. Colin Walters with the ball on the sideline. Got pushed out by the Grand Blank ride. Grand Blank's going to start with the ball on the sidelines. We've got a substitution horn going on. Grand Blank moves their ball to the attack. They're going to take it down low and probably set up their offense. Ball's going to move to X. Back to the wing. Moves up top. Ooh, bad pass by the Grand Blank attackman to move it up top looking for a skip pass. Grand Blank, Grand Blank retains the ball. Should during the scrum. Actually, Jensen comes up with the ball. Midland ball. Great play by the defense while they try to start this fast break. Connor Bach moves to Alex Zahn. Alex Zahn finishes. Wide open at the goal. Beautiful fast break. Five passes in a row right down the center. Goal from Alex Zahn, number 11 from Midland. Assist from number four, Connor Bach. Midland transition games is to run and gun style offense. Now what I mean by that is when they, their style of offense, preferred style of offense, is to get the defense moving. They attack very well when they have a higher number of offense than Grand Blank does the defense, and they seem to utilize that very well and always find the open man. 11, Alex Zahn. Face off next after the fourth goal. Carson Lorenz is going to get back out there for the face offs. Ooh, should be a jump on White here. Carson Lorenz jumped the gun. Went a little too fast, a little too antsy. He's getting excited. Ball goes back to Grand Blank. Number 22, Teddy Foote has the ball up top. Still with the ball, looking to make a move on Carson Lorenz. Going to pull out. Going to pass to number 33, Nick Schroer. Going back to foot. Foot to the other far wing for the Grand Blank Bobcats. Moves it to X. Great defense by number 15, Jake Nivison. Let's see what the call is here. 
kind of slash on Jake Jensen looks like. It'll be a one minute penalty. So Midland's going to be down. Down men. So Grand Blank's got six. Midland's got five on the field plus a goalie. Grand Blank's going to get an opportunity to show their man up right now. Hopefully get one back on the board for him. Quickly into their man up play. Midland breaks it up with a with a uh, stick that, that took away one of the passes that they made. Grand Blank runs the ball down, starts to set up their offense. Now he's, now they have extra man opportunity. Moves it to X, moves it down low. He's going to move the ball up to the wing, take it back behind the net. Yeah, Grand, Grand Blank's got to move that ball around. If, if they move the ball a little bit faster, A, hey, sa saved by Sam Gannon. Goalie rolls out behind the net, looking for some help. Sees the defense open. Now There's Midland Austin looks here. to clear the ball. Austin's looking to pass the ball. We've got a flag down. It's a defensive penalty, so the offense continues to play the ball. Now it stops. When the defense creates a penalty, the offense can continue playing until the ball is dropped or thrown out of bounds or, or a goal is scored. It gives them an opportunity to, to play on. <coughs> All right, let's see what's, what Midland has in store for their man up play. Got Ryan Sweeney, Connor Bach, and Alex Zahn up top. Let's go, ball's going to start with Connor Bach, moves it up to Ryan Sweeney over to Alex Zahn. Now Midland's man up after getting done with their penalty. Grand Blank starts theirs. Ball moves down to the attack. Right back up to Alex Zahn. Zahn to Sweeney. Sweeney shot. Scores. Ryan Sweeney from Alex Zahn. Man up, man up plays. Let's look at that again. Connor Bach moves the ball up to Ryan Sweeney. Ryan Sweeney draws his man off of crease. Alex Zahn draws enough guys to him, moves it down to attack, and then back up to Ryan Sweeney, who utilizes the fact that that man slid all the way back to crease, made a real nice shot down low, froze the goalie, and scored Midland's fourth goal of the game. Next faceoff, Carson Lorenz one more time. Carson Lorenz goes for the jump, picks up the ball. It's Midland ball. Gets out of trouble, finds space. One thing about lacrosse, you find out that you don't always run forward. A lot of times you run into trouble, and so you go backwards and let things settle down. Carson Lorenz attacks the cage, chooses not, makes a wise decision not to shoot, and moves the ball up to the attackman on the right side, Ryan Sweeney. Ball, ball's going to start at X. Is that Brillhart? Can't see who's at X right now. Arid pass by the Midland offense. It's going to give the ball to Grand Blank. Grand Blank's going to start on the sidelines. Again, a horn. You'll see all the substitutions go on and off the field, giving them opportunities to make sure everybody they want out there is out there. When the ball's brought in, Midland's got to give Grand Blank five yards before the ball starts. After that, they attack. Putting a lot of pressure back on the defense. Looking for a bad throw. There's trouble. Ball's picked up. Broken play by the Grand Blank clear. Hard ride by Midland offense. Let's look at that one more time. A hard ride by the Midland offense. Gives, renders the ball free, scooped up. Dumped down to Alex Zahn for the finish for Midland's fifth goal of the game. That's one of the dangers when you bring the goalie out of the goal box halfway up the field. If there's a drop pass, there's no one there to stop the ball. Let's see, next to face off. Ben Lazar. Scrum for the ball at the face off dot. Midland comes up with the ball. Austin Ears got the ball. Passes to Alexan. 
Alexon takes the ball to X. To Ryan's, not to Ryan Sweeney. Ryan Sweeney's got the ball on the left side of the wing. Arid pass up top. Midland tries to chase the ball down and does. Number 12, Matthew Bausch gets that ball and gets it back on the offense. Alex Zahn. Alex Zahn passes and Arid pass. They get the ball back and settle it down at X. Brillhart to Zahn. Zahn settling it down. Back to Brillhart. Open on the crease. Good defense by Grand Blank to really make sure and sag in and stay tight around the crease, Not noting that Midland likes to dish to make most of their opportunities come from that area. It's a big opportunity for Grand Blank to score. Whole field's upset right now. Ball's down. Loose ball right here. Let's see if Grand Blank can come back up with it after making that nice defensive stand. Still a loose ball. Important when you're going for the ball, especially if there's two people going from your team, is to call man ball. One person takes the man, almost setting like a moving pick, but not really, and the other person goes for the ball. Communication is key on ground balls, especially in the cross. Move the... Ooh, goalie makes a real nice save. Alex Zahn for the ground ball. Ryan Sweeney had a great opportunity there on the doorstep. Goalie came out for Grand Blank and made a great save. Midland misses the net with their shot. And the ball is going to go ahead and stay with Midland. They're going to start it out at X with Ryan Sweeney. Moves over to the side to Alex Zahn. Ball up top. Midland moves the ball, trying to, trying to attack from the side with Alex Zahn. Zahn moves the ball, an aired pass. Was looking for Gray on that play. Grand Blank runs the ball down and gets the ball and looks to clear. Midland applying awful lot of pressure on, on their off their defensive rides by their attackmen. Not really giving anybody on the, the Grand Blank Bobcats defense any chance or any 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 leniency whatsoever. Even on the defense, you folks can see at home. They're they're sliding aggressively, leaving nothing on the field. That was a loose ball push, or a push with possession. 30-second technical penalty, so Midland's down one man. Grand Blank's going to try and score on the man up play. Grand Blank's going to start with the ball. Number 66, Jack Clary at attack. Ball's going to move up to number 22, Teddy Foote. Arid pass. Midland's defenseman, Jensen, comes up with the ball and looks to pass the attack, but it's an arid pass. Grand Blank defense comes back up with the ball. Defenseman crosses half line, which means one of the midfielders have to stay back. You'll hear this term referred to as midi back. You'll hear the kids yell. This is because there has to be three people on the defensive end, whether it be a defense man or a midfielder. Three people have to stay on the defensive zone. If they're not, they're considered offsides. Once again, picked up off the ground. Nice pitch back. And Austin's, oh, Jake Jensen's got the ball, passes it. Jensen back up to the ball. Good check by Grand Blank. Nice check by number 77, Kurt Dutrezak, to force the Grand Blank turnover. Grand Blank will start at the ball at the 50 yard line. Timeout, Midland. We have a timeout with Midland here with 447 left. The score is six to nothing. Midland's definitely controlled the ball quite a bit today. Uh, Grand Blank's having trouble generating your offense. Now, Tom, with the last play, we saw something considered a loose ball push. Could you explain to the people at home what a loose ball push means? If the ball's on the ground, you have a circle of five yards. You have a circle of five yards. Within that five yards, you can, you can push and shove, but you can't push from behind. If you push from behind, that becomes a loose ball push, and the other team gets the ball. If a team has the ball in their possession, and you push from behind, that becomes a technical penalty, and that's a 30-second penalty for the uh, infraction team.
The coverage of this lacrosse match is being produced by MCTV volunteers and staff. If you'd like to work on shows like this one, come to the next orientation studio training class on the second Saturday in May, the 12th, from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. The cost is just $45, which includes your first annual access user, user fee. Learn about MCTV and how to become a TV producer and get hands-on training to become a volunteer. Call 837-3474 or come down to MCTV's studio in the lower level of the Grace A. Dow Memorial Library. Midland, again, is putting a lot of pressure on this ride. Number 21, Drew Baggett, is going to bring the ball up for the Grand Blank defense. Not sure what the call was. I believe it was maybe a failure to advance. Couldn't really tell you what the, what the call was. Don't want to assume. Anyways, Midland ball. Whoa, number, who's that? Number 31 down there getting bounced around from Midland. Grand Blank comes up with the ball, and they're running up the, mid, the midfield line, crossed into the offensive zone. Jake Jensen riding hard, pushes him out of bounds. There was a push from behind, I believe, on Colin Walters. So once again, Midland find themselves down a man. Now, folks, a push from behind with a loose ball is never going to be considered a penalty. They simply switch possession. If you have the ball while you get pushed from behind and you go down and it's an illegal push from behind with the ball, then there's going to be a penalty because of it. Well, they tried to feed the middle and the man wasn't there. Sam Gannon picks up the ball, pitches over the side, cross, the ball crosses. Oh, Jake's dropped it. Midland clear, trying to break up the grand blank man up. Tanner Dements running down with the ball after establishing that clear for Midland. Gets the ball to the attack to Alex Zahn, who gets the ball to Michael Gray. Michael Gray for the goal. Midland again in transition, doing a, doing a great job. Here's the replay. Tanner Dement brings the ball down after a hard clear, great clear. Alex Zahn moves cross crease to an open Michael Gray who finds the back of the net. Michael Gray is another person that had a great game on Saturday against Davison. He scored four goals. Midland goal scored by number 32, Michael Gray. Seven to nothing here at the community stadium. Midland putting up a real nice fight. Next faceoff is going to go back to Carson Lorenz. Carson establishes a real nice jump, which pins the other defense pin the other face-off guy stick down so he can rake the ball out behind him. Austin here is looking for help. There it is on the side. Ball moves over to Midland defense. Ooh, who just drew a slash. Just drew a slash on the Graham Blank attackman. Number 20, Graham Jacket's going to go in for a slash here, I'm assuming. Okay, Midland's going to go man up offense now. And Graham Blank's down man. Yep, number 20, Graham Jacket's going to sit in the box here for Graham for Graham Blank. 20, Graham Jacket, one minute for it's going to be one minute slashing penalty here as Midland sets up on its man up. Ball moves to Sweeney, who moves it around. They look to shift the offense here. They pull. You have two guys up top. Moves it over to the crease, moves it over to the attackman who's breaking up the side. Sweeney, who gets a good shot off, but an even better save by Grand Blank's goalie. Ooh, ball's picked up by Connor Bach. One, one. Here's the replay. Scrum in the middle. Connor Bach being very aware. Connor Bach's also a great soccer player. His hand eye coordination is absolutely there. Notices the ball in the scrum, picks it up, and finishes high on the goalie who's, who's sucked down low. Those unbalanced upset situations are, are really important in the game. You have to be on the game the whole time. Next face-off by number five, Carson Lorenz, once more. He's got an illegal movement on Midland. He jumped the whistle. Grand Blanks ball. After Carson Lorenz jumped the gun right there, he's going to turn it right back over to Grand Blank. They're going to try and set up on offense by moving this long pole off, getting another short stick midfielder on. Grand Blank doing a good job here 
just settling the ball and trying to set up into an offense. Number three from Grand Blank looking to attack. An aggressive move to the cage, found himself. Let's see. Another loose ball push from behind. So it's Midland's ball. Grand Blank pushed somebody from behind when they didn't have the ball, which turns over the possessions, going back to Midland. Ball settles at Sam Gannon, who looks to clear. Ryan Sweeney comes over midfield line as an attackman to get the ball to clear the ball from Midland. Quickly gets it to Connor, Connor Bach on the attack, who moves it to center for Carson Lorenz on crease. Can't come up with the shot. Uh, Midland stepped into the crease line, the circle around the goal, and that's an automatic turnover of the ball to Grand Blank. Should be a midfield clear. Nope. Grim Blank's going to start in the back corner. We'll see how much pressure Midland puts on him this time. Grim Blank starting with the ball at the defensive end. Quickly moves it to the goalie. Ooh. Oh, goalie's. Upset by number Ryan. nine attackman by Midland, Ryan Sweeney. Grim Blank defense is now flustered. Moves it into the middle. Ball quickly scooped up by Ryan Sweeney. Moves it to Connor Bach. Moves it to the attackman. Let's see. Chris Smith. Chris Smith for a shot. Another great save by the Grand Blank Bobcat goaltender. All right. As Grand Blank quickly sets up in there into their clearing attempt. Oh. Mishap by the defense led it to led the ball from Alex Zahn to Connor Bach to a quick finish. Let's see that one more time. A mishap by the defenseman. Alex Zahn comes up with the ball and quickly feeds it to Connor Bach for the finish. Their transition offense, folks, is really working for them today. As the Midlands up 9 0. We're going to have Ben Luzar back here at the face-off. Making sure everything's set with the clock. Here we go. Nice jump. Nice jump by Ben Luzar. Ben Luzar to come up with that ball. Ball moves to number nine, Sweeney, who's going to move the ball around and take a shot. Good save by the Grand Blank goaltender. Sweeney almost looked like he tried to rush that one. Sweeney's after the goalie again. Goalie moves over to the defenseman on the sidelines. He tries to move it to number five, Nick Gilmore. Can't come up with the pass. Midland's going to go ahead and restart that from, from their defensive end. After another arid pass, it's going to turn up out of bounds on the sideline and the ball is going to remain Midland ball. Michael Gray is going to bring the ball in. Michael Gray moves it to the sidelines, moves it to the attackman, looks right back for Michael Gray. Defense made a good play and he can't come up with it. Another loose ball pushed from behind against number 22, Teddy Foote. All right, Midland's going to start the ball with 35 seconds left in the quarter. Start with the ball up top. We're going to make a move to the net. You've got to get rid of it. Very important when you get into a scrum in that, like in the middle of uh, in the middle of the crease and stuff like that, that you hurry up and get away with it. Nice bounce shot outside by Chris Smith. Here's the replay. Ball moved around. Got guys to move. Got it back up top for a nice shot. Thirty-nine, Vaughn Hubbinger. Hopefully, I didn't mess up his name. <laughs> That'd be Hubinger. Hubinger, excuse me, number thirty-nine, Vaughn Hubinger. Bends back out. Grambling comes up with the next faceoff. The shot. Sam Gannon chases behind the net to, to ensure that Midland stays with the ball. And there's 
just under 15 seconds left for the half. Midland's up 10-0. And Middy's got the ball, bringing it up. Colin Walters with the ball with six seconds left. Tries to move the ball down to the attackman. Michael Gray feed center, a little bit high. Ooh, almost a nail biter there at the end. All this, okay. You are watching this. Mid you are watching this Midland versus Grand Blank lacros lacrosse match on MPS TV 98 in Midland. This event will be this event will be cable cast on the following dates and times: Wednesday, March 28th, through Sunday, April 2nd, from 4 o'clock to 9:30 p.m. For more dates and times, please check the Mid Midland Public Schools website at www.mps.k12.mi.us. We will be back after this short break. Thank you, folks. about wrapping up right now. We have Midland still obviously in their huddle. Grand Blank warming up on the field. First half, quite quite a half for, for Midland coming out to a 10-0 lead here. Definitely putting on an awful lot of pressure, especially on their ride. They're really ensuring themselves of, of not having Grand Blank cross that half field line and setting up into their offense. They keep up this pressure. I don't I don't see how Grand Blake can come out of a 10-0 deficit. They're going to have to figure out a way to clear the ball. They're going to have to figure out a way to get effective and settle down and set up into their offense and run their own offense. Right now, Midland's defense is very high pressure. They're very aware, and it's it, they're, they're playing their defense and making Grand Blake play an offense that is not, not what they're accustomed to. I think Grand Blake goalie is coming out too far when they're trying to clear the ball. They've taken it away from him three times now. He needs to be passing the ball. Uh, you can always pass the ball a lot faster. You can run the ball. So we need to move it around with some confidence and get the middling guys moving around. To start the second half, Carson Lorenz is going to start off at the face-off dot. We've got Austin here on the far side and Carson and uh, Connor Bach on the near side for the midfield face-off. Face-off goes raked back by Carson. Scrum in the middle. Ball's going to go to Graham Blank, it looks like, with awful lot of pressure from Midland. Graham Blank takes the ball down and sets it up. Need to point out that we have a new goalie in the Midland goal. It's Jordan Hempfling. He's a senior. Played varsity for two years. Ball moves up top now for Graham Blank while they set up into their offense. Number 33 moves the do ball down to the attackman who moves it to the X. Good defensive move. A mishap by the, the attackman from Graham Blank sends the ball to the ground. Scrum, it's going to be out on Midland. It's going to, should go Graham Blank ball. Number 20 is going to take the ball to inbound for Graham Blank. Moves it down to number nine, Marco Scarpelli. Marco Scarpelli drives on Jensen. Drives to the net, makes a shot. Upset with himself, he could have taken a couple more steps right there to ensure that he gets a better shot off. Okay, we got a defensive penalty, so the flag is down. They'll keep playing until Grand Bank loses the ball. Passes are good, and a shot. Ooh. Okay, now the penalty will be enacted. Grand Bank just missed the net. With a shot from number 22, Teddy Foote. Grand Blank's going to go on man up opportunity right now. So that was a slashing penalty. Good for one minute in the box. I believe it's Zach Walters down there sitting in the penalty box for a slash. Grand Blank's going to set up in their offense, get a quick shot off, and a goal. Right side attack, man. I can't get the number. 
takes a nice quick shot right off the inbound play. Surprising brand new goalie, Hempfling, while, while beating him far side. Here's the replay. As you can see, after a quick inbound, the Midland defense was not set. Quick shot and a quick goal. Gets Grand Blank on the board. Number 39 is going to go out for the next faceoff, Vaughn Hubinger. Hubinger to get the ball. Scrum comes up to the faceoff man for Grand Blank as he comes down. Thought that went in. It looked like the net went. Jordan Hempfling with his first save of the game as he moves the. Moves the ball to a defenseman from Midland as he clears it up the sidelines. He gets the ball to the attackman, Zahn. It sets up in their offense as they change their long stick midi. Yeah, Peyton Gozen was the defenseman that ran it down there. He's the second fastest on the team. It's real hard to keep up with him. He wanted to play some offense, it looked like. Number nine, Sweeney up top. Moves the ball over to Mark Gray. Mishap with Gray leads the ball to go back onto offense for Graham Blank here. Sorry for that mis mishap, folks. Was not uh, Michael Gray. I believe he's Von Huber. We're gonna have a horn here for Midland to set up on their defense. Defensive clear. Midland's been doing a pretty good job today clearing the ball. If you notice, they sh we'll try to pick apart their clear real quick while while we're watching. They're going to start off with a short stick midfielder with the ball. That that case, anybody buckles down on him, a midfielder has a better chance with a short stick, not only to make a better pass, but to get around a defenseman. That's a good defensive move by 26, knocking the ball down in midair. But Millen comes up with the ball again. Feeds the middle, shot, score. Goal right on crease. I believe by Ryan Sweeney. Here's the replay, folks. Ball, there's a scrum in the middle. Ball's picked up by a Midland of offenseman. Moves the ball. Makes a nice dodge. Midland goal scored by Moves it to Sweeney, Sweeney on the crease. Sweeney. He makes a nice shot Assistant to beat the Grand Blank Bobcat Luzar. goaltender. We had Luzar with a nice split dodge. Into the middle to find Sweeney on crease. I think that's Sweeney's third or fourth goal today. He's having a great day, but he's, there's a nice feed. Carson Lorenz on the faceoff. Moves everybody out, tries to gain space. Let's see who ball's picks it up. Ball's still down, ball's still down. Grand Blank, oh, ball is still down actually. Grand Blank comes up with the ball. Grand Blank's gonna settle the ball, they're gonna take it up top. Number 83, Matt Blum. He's gonna get the ball and set up up top. Grand Blank moves the ball down to X. Try and settle it behind the net as they move up. Gonna move the ball up top. Number three from Grand Blank, Alex Porter. Moves the ball around as they move it to X. See if Grand Blank can get something going. This is the most that they've, they've really settled down in their offense today. Ooh, a great check by Midland defense. Interrupts that offense. Let's see if we can get the, the Midland can get the ball and clear it. Arid shot by the Grand Blank offense, saved by Jordan Hempfling as we try and clear the ball. Midland clears the ball over the half line and runs into a wall of Grand Blank defense. Grand Blank causes a turnover and moves the ball, tries to move the ball up to number 20, the attackman. Ends up going to, to the attackman behind him. Grand Blank sets the ball up. Grand Blank with the ball. Number 20 moves the ball to the crease for a shot. Ball just barely popped out of his stick right before he got a chance to shoot it. Midland defense are just hounds on the ball. Nothing is getting past them. Looks like we have a loose ball push. It's gonna remain Grand Blank ball. Grand Blank's going to start with the ball on the sidelines. A quick fake from the midfielder from Grand Blank. Sneaks in. 
Nice finish. Grand Blank gets on the board. Here we have the mid, we have Blum drives the net, makes a nice face dodge, takes the ball down low to Marco Scarpelli. Scarpelli with the finish on, on the goaltender for Midland, Jordan Hempfling. Here we have Vaughn Hubinger back to face off for Midland. 7.39 left in the, the third quarter here. Midland leads 11-1. 11-2, excuse me. Midland retains the face off. Trying to settle it down. Moves the ball up top. Ball moves up top, and now they're going to try and settle it down with Zahn at attack. Zahn's going to try and take it down to X. He and Sweeney have a little two-man game going behind the net. Sweeney's going to move to crease. Look for the feed from Zahn. Zahn with the feed. Defense makes a nice play on crease to get to that Ooh. ball. Big hit by Grand Blank defense. Ground balls are ruthless, folks. Ball's at the half line. Grand Blank attack can't cross that line. Otherwise, they'd be off sides. Midland comes up with the ball and starts back on the offense. A lot of pressure being put on, by, on Michael Gray. Oh, there's a penalty flag Ooh, down. We're going to have a penalty on Graham Blank. Michael, Michael. Gray brings the ball oh, in. Oh, tried to feed. Lost the ball. Okay, here we go, folks. We're going to have another man up opportunity from Midland. You are watching this Midland versus Graham Blank lacrosse match on MPS TV 98 in Midland. This event will be cable cast on the following dates and times. Wednesday, March 28th through Sunday, April 2nd from 4 o'clock and 9.30. For more dates and times, check the Midland Public Schools website. We've got an unsportsmanlike conduct just assessed onto number 10. That'd be Jacob, or uh, Gabe Neal. Gabe Neal. We're not sure what it was, but uh, the referee definitely didn't like it. It's always important here, kids, that you really recognize the fact that you're not really gonna change anybody's call. The referee's gonna make his call on his best judgment, and it's his best judgment alone. So it really turns into your word versus theirs. So mouthing off at any sort of official is not really going to help much. So now Grand Blank's in a bad position because they only have four defenders out there against six. So it's two men down. Both are in the penalty box. In this situation, folks, Grand Blank's going to put four long stick midfielders who have the most opportunity to cover the most space in a box and try and rotate around as Midland, as Midland tries to move the ball and use, utilize a skip pass which is going to catch the defense in rotation, leaving a Midland man open. Right there, Midland started just before the referee blew the whistle, and so he said, come on back and let's start when I blow the whistle this time. Quick movement up top between Zahn and Sweeney. Zahn fired, hit the post. The ball went out on the sideline, chased down by Midland. It's going to stay Midland ball. Midland still on a two-man up opportunity. He's going to move the ball up quick to Zahn. Zahn's going to move it quick to Sweeney. Sweeney's going to skip pass down low, back up to Zahn. Sweeney finds Connor Bach. Connor Bach shoots and hits a grand blank defenseman in the back. Sweeney picks up the loose ball. So it looks like it's going to be a, a another penalty. I'm not, not quite sure on who. It's against Midland. I think he caught him in the face with the stick. Connor Bach's going to get that penalty for... Let's hear what Legal the call is for. A legal check minute. to the face. Always important in lacrosse, especially to focus on, on, on always trying to hit the stick if you are going to use your own stick as a line of defense. Anything under the, the waist is going to be called a slash, and anything to the head or above anywhere possible of you hitting the stick is going to be called a slash. That becomes a free clear for Grand Blank. They get it at the 50-yard line. Looking, but they're still down two men. Or they're down one man, so Midland has the opportunity to double-team the man Schroer. with the ball. Nick Schroer is on a fast break here with Grand Blank. Moves the ball to the attackman. Broken play. Grand Blank had an excellent opportunity right there to cash in. Just couldn't get the ball in the right spot. So they're going to go ahead and they're going to set up two men down. Midland's going to go ahead and should double the ball on this opportunity because they have more players on defense than Grand Blank does on offense. 
So right now, Grand Blank's really going to try and, and waste time. They're going to try and oh, run, there it is. run down the time. Now Grand Blank has both of their men coming back on the field. Now they're going to set up into a six on six and play even, even up for a while here. Connor's still on the sideline, so we're, Midland is down one person. So once again, Grand Blank's working around the horn, moving it, moving it. Looking there's dead for oh Grand Blank just missed that opportunity. It was a beautiful feed to the center to Mr. Neal. Grand Blank finally looking like they're settled in their offense. They're seemingly getting gaining comfortability and they're starting to move the ball. Yes. Now Midland is is even up. They're gonna it's gonna be six on six. Ball is gonna stay with Grand Blank at X. They're gonna move it around to the right side attackman, number thirty three. They're going to be looking for the ball up top. Number five is going to get the ball. Nick Gilmore is going to set up for a dodge. Makes a left to right dodge. Rollbacks to his left hand. Great defense by Midland. Great pressure. Disrupts that dodge. Ball is going to go to the attackman, Ryan Sweeney. Ryan Sweeney is going to carry it down into the offensive zone. This is lots of people. Looks like he's rushing to the middle of the net. Takes a shot. Big hit by a Grand Blank defenseman. Number 10, Gabe Neal. Midland's going to start with the ball because they chased the ball after the, the shot was missed. Alex Zahn going to start with it at X. He's looking to feed, hanging out right behind the net. Uh, apparently, maybe he was in the crease, so there's a moving pick violation. I'm not sure. Ball is going to go back to Grand Blank. Lots of people going on the field, in and out. It's an exhausting game running full field. Grand Blank's going to start with the ball in his defensive end. It's going to move the ball to the middle. Quick check by Alex Zahn's going to get the ball back to him on the offense. Ooh. Someone's down. Someone's down. That's Alex Zahn must have taken a, a pretty big hit there at the end of the play after he made the feed. Well, it was a legal hit, so there's no penalty flags, but Grand Blank's going to get the ball back because uh, Brett Brillhart ran through the crease out off balance. So it's going to be a Grand Blank ball. Folks, just to let you know, the coverage of this game is made possible in part with a donation from Papa John's Pizzeria. Grand Blank penalty number 86, Matt Ross. Looks like there's a timeout right now. Seconds. Time out for both teams. Um, so, uh, Mr. Gray here, what do you, uh, where do you see lacrosse going in the next, say, five years? Where it's, where it's been, where it is, and where do you think it's going to go? What's amazing, in, in the Midland area, seven years ago, Joe Stoudemire, the head varsity coach, started with about 14 players on a JV team. And right now, it's worked its way up to more than 350 kids in the middle school and high school program. The Midland program has kids at uh, first and second grade, third and fourth, uh, fifth and sixth, seventh and eighth, and of course JV and varsity. Uh, it's, it's a game for girls too, because the girls, they have a team for the first through fourth graders, fifth through eighth graders, JV and varsity as well. Uh, some of these play, the, the teams and the program has grown in the last seven years. We've had people play in college now. Uh, we had one gal two years ago, she was actually recruited to play lacrosse. That was a big boost for our program. We also have in the men's side, we have Andy Rigo who plays at Albion College, who's a varsity division three program. Um, he played defense and also with J.P. Pertel. He's out at U of M playing on the club lacrosse team there. Very successful, both of them defensemen for, for Midland. Very big important part of their success recently. Looks like we're gonna go ahead and get started here. Looks like Grand Blank is man down. Grand Blank's going to be man down. So Grand Blank starting off with a penalty. Midland's going to start out with one more guy. We're going to start in that 3-3 again with three guys across the middle near the goalie and then three guys across the top. Now they're going to go into five guys, almost like a pentagon with one guy around the crease, kind of roaming, looking for a pass. 
Air it pass up top. We're going to move it to Connor Bach, who's going to shoot. Missed the net from in close. Got to cash in on those opportunities. Very rarely do you get a shot from 8 to 10 yards with nobody on you, so it's very important to always cash in. In, in desperation times, simply go low. Ryan Sweeney, Ryan Sweeney, Zahn, and Ryan Zini Smith, and Connor Box still up top. Good stop by the goalie. And it's a good clear. Pitch the ball out. Ball's down while running up the sidelines. A little scuffle on the sideline between Bach and number 26, Kyle Braun. That's going to be Midland's ball. Aaron Blank touched it last as it was rolling out of bounds. Connor Box going to inbound the ball here. Quickly make a pass to Ryan Sweeney, who's going to feed Carson Lorenz on crease. Still has the ball. Looking for a great opportunity. Shot. Missed the cage wide. Midland chased the ball down, so they're going to go ahead and get it right back. Ball's going to start down low. They're going to look to utilize their attack and the extra man opportunity. Sweeney up top. Connor Bach moving it over to Smith. Down to Zahn. Zahn with the ball down low. Moves it to Smith. Smith for a shot and a score. Buried the ball in the bottom left corner. Here's the replay. As you guys can see, it's important that the ball is chased out of bounds by the offensive player so they can regain the ball. As the ball starts up, the ball is going to start up down low. He's going to move the ball to Alex Zahn. Alex Zahn going to set up that offense. going to quickly move it to Smith, who moves it up top to Sweeney. And somewhere around there, you're going to see a goal. Just a little after that, you're going to see a goal. Great shot by Chris Smith. Buried the ball, bottom left corner. Always a hard stop for a goalie to make. Next face off, we're going to have Ben Luzar. Ben Luzar is out there facing from Midland right now. Midlands looked really sharp passing the ball around the circle. The faster you pass the ball, the less the defense can keep up with you. Gives you the opportunity to get someone off balance, and that's what Chris, Chris Smith did. He had an opportunity, people off balance, and launched the ball. We have Gabe Neal facing off for the Grand Blank Bobcats. Very important to recognize the Grand Blank faceoff man there playing with a free hand. Lucky he didn't get called. Ben's gonna come, Ben Luzar's gonna come up with the ball. Very important in lacrosse that you do not play with your free hand. You have to have two hands on the stick while playing defense. And if you don't, you can't use that opposing hand to utilize any sort of defensive tactic. If you have the opportunity to watch collegiate games, you'll see some of the rules are different. Uh, it's a lot more physical game. And as you go down into the middle school ranks, uh, the game gets less physical to protect the players. We have a horn on the sideline. So let's see if Graham Blank can clear this ball. Looks like Midland's ready to put a double pressure on him. The goalie's ready to receive the ball. Graham Blank they... quickly moves the ball up to the midfielder. He's going to try and run through everybody himself. Drops the ball. Midland applies effective pressure on defense and comes up with the ball yet again. Desperation pass by Midland midfielder. Happens to have another ground ball. There's another scuffle around that. And we pick it up. Looks like Alex has got the ball. Looking for an open man. Arid pass to Hayden on the sideline. Looking to create somewhat of a fast break. And give it to a deep hole. Arid pass going to be grand blank ball. One minute, 40 seconds left in the third period with Midland up 12-2. Grand blank's ball. Pass back to the goalie. It's a bounce pass. Goalie's hiding behind the goal. Alex Son's getting ready to put pressure on him. Finds his open man, working up the field. Grant Blank's doing a much better job clearing the ball 
this half than they did the first half. But there's still a lot of pressure being put on. Oh, loose ball. Midland's got it. Coming down, feed right on the net. Tough, tough, tough. Oh, tried to double feed to Brillhart. Let's see. Official signaling another. Possibly questioning a call, whether or not he was in the, in the crease, I'm assuming, after that attempt to score. Looks like it's going to stay Midland ball. All right, folks. It's going to be Grand Blank ball, actually, on the sideline here, starting out in their own defensive end. This is the first time they had a midfielder start the ball. Ref brings them up a little bit. Here we go. Trying to push him out of bounds. He dodges back. It's gonna, I'm assuming he called a ward there. If um, in the cross, especially if you have your if you're on offense with the ball and you use your use your hand. Oh, quick, there's a goal by Connor Bach. He started the ball inbounded and just kind of ran dice through the defense. Here's the replay, folks. Connor Box going to start with the ball here in your closest left corner. He's going to make a nice split dodge on the grand blank defenseman, getting him to open his hips as he can get space to move to the middle of the crease and then unleash a rocket to the bottom left of the net. We've got Vaughn Hubinger. Facing off again. A little bit of a scrum off of the face off. Who's going to come up with it? Austin Ear came up with it, number 42. He's just a sophomore, but he is picking up lots of slack in the defense as they graduated three seniors last year. Move the ball to Zahn. Zahn's going to move it over to Brillhart. He's going to set something up on attack. He's going to move the ball up quick to Sweeney. Ooh, not Sweeney. Sweeney gets the ball, moves it out. Alex Zahn with the ball down low. Let's see Alex Zahn at X setting up the offense. Got a penalty flag down. Quick feed to Ryan Sweeney cross crease. Great save again by the goaltender. Looks like holding call, technical, 30 seconds. So that meant uh, one of the defenders was holding Midland player with his, with his stick, preventing him from access. Grand Blank again, man down. Seems to seems to be letting the game get to him. There's 3.6 seconds left in the third quarter, and it's 13 to two in Midland's favor. Always very important to be aware not to let the game get out of hand, especially the coaches. Kids get awfully frustrated if anything. Ryan Sweeney tries to inbound the ball and take a quick shot. Ran out of time. It's 13 to two here after the third quarter, folks. Let me remind you guys that the coverage of this lacrosse match is being produced by MCTV volunteers and staff. If you'd like to work on shows like this one, come to the next orientation or studio, studio training class on the second Saturday in May, the 12th. So Grim Blank's got a man down after that play. We're not sure exactly where he's hurt and fortunately can't see his number. Coach is attending to him. In lacrosse, at the beginning of every quarter, it's a new face-off. So even though Midland had possession at the end of the third quarter, it'll be back to a face-off in the center field when this starts. Number 21 for Grand Blanks back on his feet, being helped off by one of the coaches at the sideline. 
Yeah, Drew Baggett, he's played a hard game today. So we hope he's all right. So, Tom, how do you think the game's going so far? Uh, Midland definitely dominated, and, and it's on both ends of the field. The defense is not letting Graham Blank clear the ball. Finally, Graham Blank did change their tactics. Instead of going back to the goalie, they're going right up field, which is moving the ball a little bit faster. But then uh, when Midland gets the ball on offense, they're ball, snapping that ball around, catching, throwing, catching, throwing, and, and firing shots. So definitely uh, all Midland one way. Okay, one more quarter, 12 minutes. See if Grand Blank can uh, seemingly close this gap that they've gotten themselves into here at the end in the last three quarters. Everybody's in their place for Grand Blank, just waiting on Midland to start. Midland out of the huddle, Midland ready to go. Grand Blank takes their spots. And Jordan Hempson heading back down into the goal. discussing possession or face-off. In some instances, folks, when a penalty, when there's someone in the penalty box, they, if the defending team, I believe, is um, has possession of the ball, they will stay with possession of the ball. In this situation, Midland had possession, not Grand Blank, so they're gonna go ahead and face it off, Carson Laurent. Nick Gilmore's gonna go ahead and take it for Grand Blank. He's gonna win the ball back off a nice rake. Connor Box gonna get in there. Gonna get called for a push. Technical, at least they looked like cross check. Wasn't quite sure, I know it wasn't push with possession if you didn't have the ball. So both teams have a man down. And Midland was not ready for this game to start. They're just feeding in two people, two defenders right now. Tough, tough job for Jordan Hempling with only three of his five defenders out there. Let's go ahead and see that on the replay. No. See, if, as you notice, Midland got caught with substitutional problems right here. Grambling gets gets caught with five people to Midland's three and quickly utilizes the man that's open and go ahead and take it right in and, and scores. Now, with Grand Blank scoring, Midland's penalty gets canceled, and so they're, they're even up. But Grand Blank's still in the penalty box, so they don't get the advantage of, of clearing their penalty. In this situation, folks, you're going to notice that there are only going to be two midfielders for Grand Blank facing off, one taking the face off and one on one of the wings. One of the other members of the wings is, is actually in the penalty box. They're going to go ahead and give this ball back to Grand Blank after a loose ball push. Number five is going to quickly try and get it to the attackman. Looks like he lost in the lights. It's going to be a turnover. It's going to be Midland ball after a horn. Again, folks, I'd like to send a special thanks to Papa John's. The coverage of this game is made possible in part with a donation from them. Midland's going to go ahead and start. Start the ball in their defensive zone with Carson Lorenz carrying the ball up. Takes a nice check, but stays on his feet. Makes a nice dodge around the, the Grand Blank defenseman to get the ball in the offensive zone to Connor Bach as he Grand slices Blank through the Grand Blank defense. He's looking for a feed. Who's there? Alex Zahn oh, can't finish on the doorstep. Great block by the goalie. Ryan Sweeney getting hassled by the defenseman down low. 
Moves the ball to Connor Bach at X, who makes a nice feed, nice crease feed. Just can't find the net. Looks like we have, is that Brill Hart in the corner inbounding the ball? The refs are going to go ahead and reset the offense. Midland awfully antsy to play today. It's a give and go. Nice reject by the goalie. Goalie's got it again. Midland's wait, ready to put pressure on them. There they go. It's also very important to recognize that with the goalie were to go inside the crease and then come outside the crease and then go back into the crease, they would call that for an in and out. A goaltender once outside the crease has to remain outside the crease or he's called for a penalty and it's not for serving time but it's for a, a switch in possession so the ball would go right back to Midland. Graham Lake's going to go ahead and set it up in the offense. They're going to move the ball down low, left side attackman. He's going to go ahead and move it to X, number 20. For Grand Blank, moves it to number 33. Nick Schroer moves it up top. He's going to go ahead and rotate the ball. Marco Scarpelli is going to run the ball. It's run a sweep. A sweep is when the offensive player runs the ball all the way over from one the left side top to the right side of the top of the box. 33 has got the ball right side attack for Grand Blank. He's going to move it over to 22. He's going to move it to... Number five for Grand Blank, who moves it all the way around the horn. Now they're going to start setting up in their offense. Grand Blank looking a little more comfortable right now as they start to spin the ball. One thing I don't see what Grand Blank doing is they don't have any cutters. They're all staying on the perimeter, and so it's real hard to feed into the goal. They need to get some other people moving in and not just try and do it by one person by themselves. Perfect example of that number 20 tried to take the ball from X to, to crash the crease and try to force a goal um, just like... Tom said there, you can't do that, and it's also important to have cutters and move the ball. Alex Zahn to Ryan Sweeney for the goal. Here's a replay, folks. The ball is hustled down, a great clearing opportunity. Austin moves the ball down to the attackman. Alex Zahn is going to clear space and he's going to find Ryan Sweeney up top for the crease. He's going to take a nice low shot under a defenseman using a screen. Very important using that screen to, to implement a harder, a harder shot for the goalie to track. Nice job right there by Sweeney using the screen, using shooting around the defenseman to get a goal. Here we have Colin Walters taking the face off. We have withholding on White. Colin made a, a nice jump opportunity, and when I refer to a jump on a face-off, it's to take your stick, clear the ball, clear over the ball, and try and pin down the other man's stick. He got caught right there by pinning out down the offensive guys. The Grand Blank face-off guy stick for too long, so he got called with withholding, and that's going to be a change of possession. Ball moves down to Grand Blank. Grand Blank takes a nice shot. Jordan Hempfling makes the save and looks for the clear. Hempfling's pass all the way down to Colin Walters in the offensive zone. He's going to go ahead and move this, try and move the ball to crease. Arid pass, but Midland gets the ball back. Little re-dodging opportunity there for Midland, Midland's offense to get the ball back up top and try and set it up. Ben Luzar with the ball up top. Keeps making his dodges. Turns around, passes to Tanner. Tanner Dement scores. Here's a replay, folks. Ball's up top. Moves the ball over to Ben Luzar. Ben Luzar makes a nice dodge coming in here. Attacking, always being a threat. Very effective dodge. A simple rollback right to a cutter. Tanner Dement makes a very nice shot down low. That was a very well-effected, well-planned well out play by Midland. Started out with Ben Luzar making a, a, a dodge that actually was an attack or a threat which means the defense had to react the way it did in order for Tanner to sweep in and be an option that he was. Hubinger again to face off. Midland comes up with the ball off the face off. Another one face off. Moves the ball. Tries to move the ball to Brillhart. Brillhart can't come up with it. 
errant pass is going to give the ball back to Grand Blank. So let's see if Grand Blank goes back to their goalie or tries to move the ball ahead straight away. Grand Blank's going to go ahead and start with the midfielder again, giving the confidence to a short stick. They're going to see if he can run it right past the attackman in the midfield of Midland just to get the ball into the offensive zone and set something up. He's accomplished this task, but lost the ball just over the midline. Midland's going to come back with the ball. Austin Neuer picks up the ball on defense, quickly moves the ball to an attackman, and scores. Brill Hart. Brill Hart with the goal. Here's the replay, folks. Another clearing opportunity by Austin Neuer. He's going to take the ball. He's going to make a nice pass to Brill Hart. Brill Hart's going to suck in as much as he can. He's going to take a nice low to, to mid-hip shot on the goalie that, that seems to find its way in. Yeah, Brent Brillhart is the only freshman on the team, and he has definitely earned his position. Hubing are back to face off. Grambling midfielder is going to get called with withholding. He got the clamp clamp before Hubinger of Midland, but an or, important rule of faceoffs is you have to move the ball. You get about a one one thousand second count, and if you don't move the ball, you get called for withholding, and the ball goes back to the opposing team. Brillhart with the ball on the sidelines right here, moves the ball, shot from up top, Midland player. We're gonna have a man up opportunity for Midland. Number three, it looks like, Alex Porter is going to go ahead and have to sit down for a few in the sin bin. Sorry, folks, I have a hockey background. That's what we like to call the penalty box. Midland's going to go ahead and be man up here for the next 30 seconds, I believe. Midland sets up in his offense, quickly moving the ball, moves the ball back to Zahn. Zahn's going to go ahead and get, try and get rid of his defenseman. Going to move the ball to X. Throws the ball back up. Sweeney sneaks. Tries to make a good shot. Good save by the goaltender. Ball's picked back up. Quick shot. Quick goal. By number five, Carson Lorenz. All right, folks. Right here, we're going to show that in, inbounding the ball, Midland takes the ball, moves it up top, moves it around the horn. They're going to go ahead and move it all the way around. Zahn's going to shake off his defender right there. He's going to get the ball to X. X is going to get the ball right there to Carson. Back to Sweeney. Sweeney's going to make a shot. Carson gets the rebound, comes up with it, makes a quick shot for the goal. Colin Walters comes up with the face-off opportunity for Midland. Vaughn Hubinger comes up with the ground ball for Midland. Needs to get rid of it under pressure. Nice play, nice pass to Tanner Demena as he uses those wheels to dice the Grand Blank defense. Failed attempt on a shot as he's flying in with a full head of steam. Midland's going to pick the ball up, start back from behind the net, and set up in a little offense. You have Midland with the ball on the sidelines there. Moves it up to Walters up top. Going to go right over to Lazar. Looking for maybe a give and go. Nice rotation. Zahn moves the ball back to Walters. Walters. Ooh, Walters looks like he got a little excited on that pass. Tried to make a pass that wasn't there. Ball's going to go right back to Grand Blank. First midfield line's heading back in. Lots of people switching in and out. We got timeout on the field with three minutes and 16 seconds left. Again, folks, this coverage of this lacrosse match is being pro being produced by MCTV volunteers and staff. If you'd like to work on the shows like this one.
Come to the next orientation or studio training class on the second Saturday in May, the 12th, from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. The cost is just $45, which includes your first annual access user fee. Learn about MCTV, how to become a TV producer, and get hands-on training to become a volunteer. Call 837-3474 or come down to the MCTV studio in the lower level of Grace A. Dow Memorial Library. Or you can learn more online at www.midland.com dash mi dot org backslash mctv or follow us on facebook looks like we're about ready to come out of our timeouts here midland getting set to take one home here the 17 to 3 lead 316 left here in the quarter Grand Lake's going to go ahead and start. I'm sorry, Midland starts with the ball. Grand Blank is currently man down. Midland rushes the ball in to try and make something happen real quick. Off of a broken play, it looks like the, the goalie from Grand Blank is going to come up with the ball. Unfortunate as Midland just set up into an extra man opportunity. Looked like they almost forced it for a second. Grand Blank's going to go ahead and come up with the ball. Defense from Grand Blank makes a pass across midline to number 33, Nick Schroer. Nick Schroer is going to come in on a fast break. Moves it to number 83. Blum, who takes an arid shot. They're going to go ahead and give the ball to... Midland. Midland. Midland ball. Good job. Goalie Jordan Fleming. Or Hempfling, I'm sorry. Running out of the cage to, to ensure that Midland gets that ball. Tanner Dement looks like the one man clear. The one man clear from Midland brings the ball up in the offensive zone, tries to set it up. Great pressure by the Grand Blank defense. A uh, little bit of a uh, scrum going down on the uh, offensive end for Midland here. Let's see what we're gonna have here. Looks like maybe simultaneous penalties. Something, uh, some sort of fiasco. So for Midland, it's Carl Herman. And Matt Ross for Grand Blank. Correction, it's number 68, Tanner De La Mulier. It's a heck of a last name, folks. That's a good one to practice on. Rolling your tongue a few times. All right, so it looks like a penalty for both teams. Let's see if they're going to make them go man down or leave it up, even, even opportunities for both teams here. Grand Blank already had a penalty, so Midland should remain one man up. Okay, it's going to go into a five on four here. Um, Grand Blank has has four out, three poles, and a short stick midfielder. And Midland is going to play with five. Again, Grand Blank has two people in the, the penalty box. And Midland has one. We're going to go ahead and try and set it up. Man up. Number 31 for Midland. Not sure what the call was. Instant possession change goes back to Grand Blank. Number five from Grand Blank is, has the ball on its own defensive end, gets it back to the goalie. Grand Blank thought to realize they only have 20 seconds to get it to midfield and another 10 seconds to get it into the big box. There it Grand goes. Blank tries to move the ball to number 22. Goalie makes an arid pass. Defenseman from Midland comes up with it. Forces another pass. Oh my. Look goalie out. comes out of the box. Loose ball. Look out, folks. Goalie is on a mission for Grand Blank. Gets the ball, tries to clear it, throws the ball over half line to one of his attackmen. Midland defense comes up with the ball. Number 41, Ben McCray for Midland in on D. Bringing the ball back over half line. Awful scrum. Seemingly looks like field hockey out here, folks. 
We've got Grand Blank Defense bringing the ball up. Number 21, Drew Baggett brings the ball, tries to bring the ball up, still has it. Getting all sorts of pressure, forces a pass. Number 12, Matthew Bausch. You got five, four, three, two, one. All right, folks. And the teams head out to, to bring their goalies back in. Time honored tradition in lacrosse. Final score, Goal is a hard Matt position. Midland, they want to bring them in, bring them home. Three. I'd like to thank you all for coming out tonight. Hope you enjoyed the game. Drive safely on your way home. So what do you think Grand Blank needs to work on next? I think Grand Blank has a lot of potential, especially on offense. Once they seem to get settled, they seem to, to grow a little more and more comfortable out there. I think Grand Blank has an issue maybe with high-pressure defense. Midland really brought... Brought a lot of rain tonight on defense. They had a, played with a high pressure offense and a very, very aggressive ride. Never really let Grand Blank get into their comfort zone. Um, and that seemed to, to be the real test for Grand Blank. So, so for Grand Blank um, coming up, they're gonna have to really focus on, on being able to, to be effective not only in transition and when they get their opportunity, but, but how to increase pressure not only on their defense, but um, getting their offense used to playing with a little more of an aggressive off or defense such as Midland today. How do, what, what, do you think we're, what do you think were Midland's highlights for tonight? Well, certainly Ryan Sweeney was a highlight today. I think he put in four goals and had an assist to boot. Um, but the offense moved the ball around really sharply. And one thing I saw were a lot of cutters going in and out, in and out. So a lot of the feeds went right onto the crease, right in front of the goalie, and that's almost impossible to stop. Um, and then when the offense, when the attack went on on the defense, they just, like you said, they ate up Grand Blank, and, and Grand Blank could not successfully clear the ball. Well, folks, um, I want to remind you guys that this coverage of this game was made possible in part with the donation from Papa John's. Um, and I also want to inform you that you have been watching the Midland versus Grand Blanc lacrosse match on MPS TV 98 in Midland at Midland Community Stadium here at Midland High. This event um, will be cable cast on the following dates and times, Wednesday, March 28th through Sunday, April 2nd, once at 4 o'clock and once at 9.30 p.m. For more dates and times, check the Midland Public School website at www.mps.k12.mi.us. And another reminder that the coverage of this lacrosse match is being produced by MCTV volunteers and staff. If you'd like to work on shows like this one, come to the next orientation or studio training class on the second Saturday in May, from, which is the 12th, from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. The cost is only $45, which includes your first annual access user fee. Learn about MC, MCTV, excuse me, how to become a TV producer and get hands-on training to become a volunteer. Call 837-3474 or come down to MCTV's studio in the lower level of the Grace A. Dow Memorial Library. You can learn more at www.midlands-mi.org backslash MCTV or follow us on Facebook. We'd like to thank all the viewers for tuning in tonight. My name is Danny Gibson along with Tom Gray and we will, we will be concluding the broadcast of the Midland Lacrosse versus Grand Blank Boys Lacrosse game here at Midland Community Stadium.